Molecular orbital theory, or MO theory, is the basis for much of what we'll study this term. The premise of this theory is that whenever orbitals, the regions of space where electrons can live, whenever they overlap, they make new orbitals. There are several key tenets to this theory. The first, when two orbitals overlap in phase, they make a new bonding orbital, which is lower in energy than the original orbitals. Second, when two orbitals overlap out of phase, they make a new antibonding orbital, which is higher in energy than the original orbitals. This antibonding orbital has a node orthogonal to the internuclear axis. Third, electrons populate the new molecular orbitals according to Hund's rule, the Aufbau principle, and the Pauli exclusion principle, just like they do in atoms. We can see these three principles in work in the MO diagram of hydrogen, H2. When the two H atoms, each with their 1s atomic orbitals, come near each other, they interact to make a bonding orbital and an antibonding orbital. The bonding orbital is low in energy, and the antibonding orbital is high in energy. Since each hydrogen had one valence electron to begin with, we populate the molecular orbitals with two total electrons, starting with the lowest energy orbital first. The electrons in H2 occupy a sigma bonding orbital. Sigma because the two individual atomic orbitals overlapped directly. And bonding because the majority of the orbital resides between the two nuclei. If an electron occupies this orbital, it holds the atoms together. H2 also has an empty antibonding orbital, called a sigma star orbital, which looks like this. Because there's a node between the two nuclei, if an electron would occupy this orbital, it would push the atoms apart, hence antibonding. From a simple MO diagram like this, we can calculate the bond order for any group of atoms. It's calculated by taking the number of bonding electrons, subtracting the number of antibonding electrons, and dividing by two. For the neutral molecule H2, the bond order is two minus zero divided by two, or one. There's a single bond between the two hydrogen atoms. How would this MO diagram change for the H2 one minus ion? We'd have three total electrons to fill the molecular orbitals. So two would go in the bonding orbital, and the third would have to go in the antibonding orbital. If we calculate the bond order now, we see that it's two minus one over two, or one half. There's only half a bond, much weaker than a single bond. So we can infer that this ion isn't very stable. In general, the lower the bond order, the weaker the bond. 